Have you been looking for a feature light to spice up your smart home? In this video, we're gonna show you that the LifeX Tile is definitely one that you should be considering at the top of your list. Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you new smart home content every single week, looking at Apple, Amazon, Google, and anything that I find interesting. If you find that interesting, please consider subscribing. Also, ring that bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. Uh, like the video if this helped you all. All of that really does help me to continue making new content for you guys. In this video, we're gonna do the unboxing, go through the whole review, look at the specs, as well as I'm gonna show you guys what I've done, how I've used these in my house, in my home. Typically, these come in packs of five, although you can put as little as a single light in a chain. There are a lot of advantages to this particular device. The uh, dawn to dusk feature, one of the best in the industry right now. LifeX has done a phenomenal job and it really does help to make sure that you get out of bed in the morning, especially if you're in a part of the world where the light isn't always even throughout the year. When you can have shorter days, longer days, uh, there are times in Canada where you can get up in the morning, go to work, stay inside in your building, come home, and never actually see the sun during the day. This can definitely help you with that. Keep your circadian rhythms on track. Great for that. What are the other things? There are a ton of dynamic scenes that LifeX has given us. I will put a link to the virtual fireplace video I did on this. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. I love the way that they have done the virtual fireplace. It is one of my favorite uh, smart lighting effects. Um, I won major points with my partner on this. So again, if you wanna win points, this might be a way to go. The last thing we're gonna look at at this video as well is just give you a small taste of the LifeX local API. I'm not gonna go into the coding, but I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing a little bit with this particular device and hopefully inspire you to try some of that at home. And with that, let's take a look. So the LifeX tile is a feature light. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is a one foot by one foot square tile. It is Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz, so this will connect to your Wi-Fi network directly, no hub required. 16 million colors, 34 watts max power draw at 100% brightness, and 64 individually controllable LEDs. The chain, a full chain of five tiles will put off 2100 lumens, which is about 420 lumens per tile at max brightness. As you can see, there is a lot of flexibility you have with these devices. You can use them as background lighting, to help give your plants a little more light, um, depending on if your plants are in a darker room or in uh, just the time of day, there just isn't that much light where you are, right? It, it works really great for both of those applications. As well, these are great using the dawn to dusk feature in the bedroom. So I have put these in all of my bedrooms and as you can see, they have really cool effects that you can use with them, but more than anything, it's really helped get my kids out of bed in the morning and keep them on track. These lights come out regardless of whether the curtains are open, the blinds are closed or not, the sun rises at the same time every morning in my house, which is awesome. So LifeX has included dynamic scenes, including their fire, simulated fire feature. Um, the virtual fireplace has been just a phenomenal hit in my house. Really cool effect, really soft glow, um, great in the background. Definitely check out the video on that as well. So LifeX has done a really good job on the boxing. Um, it is really clear different ways that you can use these. You can connect them all together or you can kind of stretch them out as you can see in these two images. This is the five box. You can put less than that in a chain, but five is the maximum. Microsoft Cortana, Apple HomeKit, Amazon's Madam A, Google Assistant, all of those um, are integrations are available with this. So no matter which ecosystem you're in, either one or multiple of them, you're gonna be okay here. The box is really clear about what's in the box, which I like. You've get, got all the cables as well as um, all the tiles that you're gonna need to get this up and running. So getting the box open, the instructions are pretty clear. They um, give you some good instructions as far as how to prepare it. Um, the 3M command strips are included. So these are Velcro strips. So you can take these on or off the wall if you need to, which is kind of nice. The main home kit setup code is also included on the larger instruction piece, but there is a smaller um, leaflet within the box as well, which we'll, we'll get to, that has a individual home kit code for each of the tiles. So even though this is, they consider one to be the master tile, in, in effect, there really is no master tile. Whichever one is the first one in the chain is the home kit code that you're going to be using. Um, this does come with the LifeX uh, proprietary cable here that it's going to be used for the powering. And of course, depending on which part of the world you're in, uh, you are going to clip in your own individual um, 
plug socket type for the right socket that you're going to be using. As you can see, these are well wrapped. The tiles themselves are wrapped in plastic to prevent them from getting scuffed in transit. And honestly, the 3M, um, I, I know there are people out there that have had issues with them. If you follow the instructions and you push hard on them for the full 30 seconds, I have not had any issues. So getting back to the cabling here, this is going to be coming with one of the long six feet cables and then multiple of the smaller one foot cables. Uh, and that's important to understand that how you're going to lay these things out. Now you can still, at least at the time of this recording, order additional cables from LifeX and you're always going to at least have one extra cable in the box depending on if you choose to do all mm. short cables or one uh, long cable and then multiple short cables. So you really have some flexibility there. You can put these close together, which we'll look at, or you can um, really lengthen them out and put some space between them. Personally, I like putting space between them more than having them together. So one thing I do want to point out is that the, the little leaflet inside it has home kit codes for each of the uh, the five tiles that are going to be in your kit, as you can see here. Now, you want to hold on to this or put, at, in my case, what I do is I take a QR code and write the contents of this home kit code directly onto the tile um, in that on the, on the side of the tile so that you're going to be able to... Um, to tap to add this later. So you can see that on the back of it, it's the old style uh, QR code or the old style HomeKit code on the back of the device here. And that's just something to be aware of. This is gonna be painful if you need to factory reset this, which is fairly easy. You just unplug and plug it in um, five times with waiting about a second in between them. Really easy to do, but not easy if you don't have access to the HomeKit code on the back of the tile. So one other thing I wanted to point out here is, as you see, as I connect the second device in the chain here, um, it's going to get connected, it starts to go through a boot up process, and then it finds that there is an issue right now and the entire tile starts to glow red. That is absolutely normal. So what's happened here is the first tile, as you plugged it in, it said, okay, I'm a single tile, everything's great. When you put the second one in, it, it's it's not great anymore. It's now has something there that it wasn't expecting. So if we go to the end and we simply just unplug uh, the entire chain again, plug it back in, all of these will turn blue. We'll be, we're going to be okay. So for the sake of completeness, we're going to do the HomeKit setup. This is the same as every other HomeKit device. You can use the HomeKit code. You can type it in manually. You can scan it using your camera. You can use your NFC reader um, on your newer phones as well, the uh, iPhone XR, XR XR Max, as well as the iPhone 11. Once you get that into the system, it's going to pair. It's going to add the Wi-Fi. All of that's handled by you automatically. Really, really streamlined setup process. Looking at the Apple HomeKit, the ability to control it, this is where I, I really would like LifeX to do a, a, a better job here exposing more things to us within HomeKit. Um, from the perspective of HomeKit, I'm only seeing a single light. So if I was to change these around, the LifeX tile, the complete tile changes that color. I don't have individual control and I don't have access to those dynamic scenes within HomeKit. It's so going over the LifeX app. You're going to want to set this up as well because this is what's going to give you access to more of those controls, cloud control outside of the house, as well as this is how you're going to connect it to the LifeX cloud so you have access to your Amazon and Google Home. Once you put these in the group, uh, LifeX has done a really good job of allowing us to organize within a house, room, individual light control. So there's a hierarchical um, structure here. And you can also drag and drop the tile configuration around, which really allows you to, to have a better idea when you're doing some of the more advanced features, how this thing is going to be playing um, in, in your physical environment, right? So they've done quite a good job, I think, of giving us the ability to kind of play around with a little bit and say, how do I want to actually uh, put this together? Now, this isn't a pre-planning, um, which would be nice, Right, you can see here in the background, the lights automatically were discovered by Amazon. So that's a good thing. That's a feature I like. I don't have to do any work there. Although I am going to have to go over to Amazon later and make sure I put it in the right room. So once we have our, our configuration done here, um, we're, we're going to be fine. If you haven't enabled your skills for Amazon or Google, you'd want to do this now as well. There is going to be typically a firmware update here that we're going to want to get done as well. Right, So we'll do that quickly and do a little movie magic. 
So for those of you who uh, saw that tactile control, one of the other things which is nice is they actually have a tactile control built right into the tiles. So if you tap on these, you can get them to roll through the scenes, to start the fire, all of that good stuff. So there are some manual controls here, which is really nice if you just want to put these up on the wall. You don't even have to connect these to Wi-Fi after you get through the, in the initial setup. So moving back to the LifeX app, again, you have all the controls here that you possibly need. You can control individual tiles. Uh, you can, um, using the color wheel, choose your color, choose your warmth, all of that stuff. Everything that you you possibly need here is included in the app. Um, again, they have done a lot of work recently. The LifeX 4 app was released. It has the scheduling has been increased. Again, I really encourage you guys to check that out. Uh, it is definitely worth the effort to spend a little time going through the app and understanding the capabilities. So in addition to the fire scenes, there are other dynamic scenes, morphing, the ability to uh, just have your different color schemes go throughout the tiles. These are awesome. I have these in a uh, in our basement where we've created a, a glow room, a party room, which I put together for my daughter's birthday. And I also use these uh, substantially in my office, which is also in the basement. At a time when many of us are working from home, it's really nice to be able to have that the gradient changing of the color of the warmth to simulate the sun or, or just to spice up your day a little bit. So the last thing I want to show you guys is some of the local API work. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys is some of the local API work that I've been doing. I'm not going to go into the code here, but as you can see, using the LifeX LAN Python library and some hacking around on it, I've been able to do things like create vertical stripes, um, create horizontal stripes, some plaid, all of that kind of thing, reset the tiles, as well um, by doing just some playing around. I've also unlocked the ability to do just some some real simple art. So you can see here that there's like a YouTube sub button, some a Twitter birds, a just a little smile minus the E and a rainbow, a Life X icon. All of that is um, are, are all capabilities that I've been able to unlock. Which when you start combining these things and writing letters. You can do something like this, which is a project that I put together uh, with my daughter. She actually drew out the, the graphics for the heart and helped me code this, and she's nine years old. So that was a pretty awesome experience. As well, I've been able to get um, rotating letters through and even going so far as to be able to take entire sentences and being able to display those across. So see if you, any of you recognize this song. Right? So these are some of the capabilities. I'm going to continue playing around with this in my spare time. Uh, full intentions on open sourcing this library. So if you do get your hands on these, definitely um, drop me a line on Twitter. I'll point you to where the library is as I start to go through it. If you want to contribute and play around, I'd love to, uh, love to see what you build as well. So hopefully I've answered most of your questions about the LifeX tiles. If I haven't, do me a favor and post those questions below so that I can get those answers to you. For those of you who have been inspired to pick those up, I wish you luck in finding these. And if anybody wants to come out, please contact me on Twitter at HomeKidGeek. And I'd be more than happy to share the library that I'm working on with you. It's a work in progress. There's a bunch of things that I have planned. Uh, rotation, being able to move things around. Again, it's a work in progress, right? That's the beauty of open source. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. See you guys on the next video.